No, it's not editing. That's the standard feature in the game now, debris. Really? Yeah, didn't you actually shoot anything recently? Nope. Hang on, let me just go back to this last video I was displaying and then you can see what happens. I'm in a ship and Dalmont's shooting at it. And there's just pieces floating around inside. Where is it? I think it was at the beginning. Yeah, there we go. Why are they so fast? Yeah, the game's insane. They just keep on, like, adding stuff. And they scale to your CPU as well. So if you have a bad computer, you probably... Got, that might be why you haven't seen any, because it will set it to zero. But I can see thousands of them. Why does it keep getting set to me? I'm just having a look and seeing now. What are we here? What are we at, man? What are we at? get my computer to lag with those fragments. Can you? I can't. I don't have uh, that good a machine, honestly. Mine is just like yours. You said you had a 560 Ti. I have similar and I did get it around a couple of years ago or something. Yeah. But when these missiles hit, and I think the missiles do cause fragments, they just disappear before um, they get blown up. Huh. So I liked it with this ship that um, I showed you earlier, actually, by uh, hitting it against a, a pirate that was the same, and it would just lag every time there was a hit. Weird, because like I say, when I'm doing it, there's loads of them everywhere. I, mean, I suppose I've got an SSD, but I'm not actually running the game off of it, I'm only running Windows off of the SSD. And um, I've got eight gigs of RAM. And maybe the server can handle it, but my personal computer can. Well, I think I did that video in single player just to be sure. I didn't no. get in, I didn't get invited on because I wanted to test it with just my RAM, which would have been about two gigs in the server and two gigs in the client. Well, I, I do have uh, missiles that have a pretty large radius, so maybe. Um... You're not producing them fast enough for it to lag your computer. Hmm. Oh, we get much shrapnel now. Let's whack that Imperial City second pass. This one was a good one. It's funny because I could load it in now, but it's genu gen genuinely quicker to just show you this. Because this is like one of the big projects that we've been working on. What we've done is we've taken a we've taken a um, project, a public project from Minecraft, like Planet Minecraft. We've downloaded this thing called Imperial City. It's like a massive, epic Minecraft city. And then what I've done is I've used a combination of World Edit, MC Edit, and SM Edit in a process I'm calling McSmedit <laughs> because someone else said it. <laughs> it would be great if you could do the opposite, put uh, star-made creations into Minecraft. True, but I think there's less call for that. I think there's more call for it going the other way round, and there's obviously more content available for Minecraft, it being the older and more established game. Also, oh, so, star made stuff in Minecraft would be massive. Yeah, that's the problem, like, most of your ships are going to be too tall to fit in a world. If you want to do too some of your you. smaller stuff, you can use the Carpenter's Blocks mod to get your Tetris, Pentas, and Wedgie Bits. 
but ultimately it's a bit of a nightmare and what we've managed to achieve is a instant conversion so I've been working on this XML script which uh, you guys who have been here know already you um, put the XML script in the tool and it will convert the blocks from one type to the other it's all commented so if you disagree with one of my choices you can just go in and change it with just a simple ID number just change it and it'll be whatever you want it to be I think we've got a pretty good conversion at the moment it looks solid and then we're just gonna turn this into us because the easy thing for us is to make a shell so if we build a shell around this you got a spaceport fully fledged spaceport with like a massive residential area I think breaking it up into sections was the clever thing as well because it's quite a massive um, it's quite a massive thing like to load in at once <laughs> yeah I've got some unturned videos up on uh, my channel B it's a funny game we're considering running a server on it but not permanently because there's hundreds of unturned servers right now. Like, literally. The thing is, yeah, none of them actually the biggest, work. It's the yeah. latest big game or none so, of them have, something like yeah, that. None of them have memory, and none of them are running on a good server, but there are hundreds of them, which means there must be at least one or two good ones. And it's, a, it's another buzz game. It, I'd love to see it go far, but I don't want to be a bandwagon. Do you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people that are getting into that right now from a server hosting point of view are just bandwagoning. And I'm not, I don't want to do that. You know, it's it, you might be able to make a quick buck, but I don't think in the long run it's a good idea. Like, we'll all play the game as a community, but I'm not going to start another YouTube on it and host another server and all that stuff. Look at this, look at this anglerfish great and for the record though I found Unturned to be more fun than DayZ oh same yeah it was weird I actually f I genuinely found it to be more there was more playability and all the same functionality <laughs> like sure there's other stuff in DayZ that you can't do in Unturned but a lot of it is needless because of the Have way they've done it you actually streamed Unturned yet yeah, I streamed it for hours. There's a bunch of highlights up on Channel B. Like I said, there's like three episodes. In fact, ah. I think one of them is an uncut playthrough, which is like 34 minutes, 40 minutes long. I oh put, my god. I put one clip up, which is the typical life of Tom, and it was like seven minutes long. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I spawned, and then I got killed. And like, I went through everything. I got food, I got weapons, I got clothes, I got backpack, met someone, they died, then I died. It was brilliant. Oh, you were on a server. Um, yeah, I hosted a server for the event. This is what I'm saying. Like, it's not difficult because um, if you know how, if you know about the command line, you know, you just have to know the command line. And for the record, I put the command line. All you do is you put that line in a shortcut, obviously to wherever your Steam is, but you have to get the path right. But that's pretty basic. You can just put the last part, you know, everything after .exe, put that in your shortcut, you know, and make a copy and call it dedicated. And, and basically that's all you have to do. Because you, you make a new shortcut based on the one you already have. And just put this in the end. Well, you right click properties and there's a field there you put this code there I put the code in the uh, useful links section on our Google Plus and like I say you can tweak it and you could have like a server like mushroom fleets with 20 gigabytes of memory running unturned <laughs> be smooth as butter I did consider it you know because with all the improvements mushroom fleet hasn't been using all of the memory that we put on the StarMade server never uses it all it only ever uses like a third of it when we have like an event yeah it uses about half of it but it, it very rarely goes over a third of the resources on the server oh so you can actually switch what game you're running on the uh, server 
well, computer. This is the thing. I was looking into it. The problem is, I couldn't see a Linux build of Unturned, and our server is Linux. But it is. Oh, it is. Oh yeah, but it's very easy. All I have to do is change the amount of memory assigned to StarMade, and then I can reassign it to something else for a while. But I don't ah. know. It wouldn't be like a permanent thing. So what's the point? You know what I mean? If it was going to be like a long-term thing, then I would do it, but... Um, so it's easier just to do it from your own PC, which is what I did. It's funny, my router's got about 20 port forward rules on it for all these different games that we host. But yeah, like I say, it's like Mushroom Fleet Cinema tonight. Got all these still checking out this city. Oh, and that is the Bernie Balls of Fire mod by Bearish Mushroom. So if you're wondering how come the sun looks all orange and burny, that's why. You can get that mod in the uh, Starmie Community Content section under mods. And it's highly recommended. Alright, I'll be go talking with some other people now. Bye. See ya. <laughs> that was a rather skillful dismount there. <laughs> and to think that was all this done in the new... I think I did... No, wait. Was this shot in the previous lighting system? It might have been. So I might have to, like, respawn this in and check it all out again. I didn't pee up for that. Yeah. I don't know about my PC, but I want to do it. I think I might have to remove the... My... my oh, but I'll have to remove my ship to do that. I'll save it for another time. You don't want to, uh, you want to get everything out on the show in one night, do you? <laughs> that that. <laughs> I think that I'll probably uh, go and jump on another game for a bit. It's not too late. In that case, can I have a warp back to uh, not in the middle of nowhere? What civilization? You'll be safe here. Well, I mean, as close <laughs> as it gets here. It's all right. No one yeah. can bother you here. Just tell me where you need to go, man. Uh, five, four, three. <laughs> all Holy right. Holy crap! There are a lot of planets. Disable the screens. Thank you. That's the funniest thing about all of this. It is legitimately all in game. You know, I've just been sitting in game all this time. Lego, Hi. you docked anything? <laughs> uh, I just undocked. That should, that should be good. Okay, if you dock to my ship, then... Oh. There you go, close enough. Okay, well, that oh, works okay. too. <laughs> my Enterprise looks so small from here, you can't even see it. <laughs> Hello, Enterprise? Enterprise? Where is it? There I think is. your Enterprise is docked and literally your ass end. I can see it. I think it's on the farthest back docking point that ship has. It's about... I know it's just halfway. It's actually quite close to the front. Mm. Okay. Anyone else who's been teleported around that needs to teleport back to wherever they call home? There's a station over here in 101010 that looks decent. Undock. Huh? Yeah, I have no idea where exactly your station is, Lego, so I just dumped you in relative occupied space. No, I'm saying there's a station here that looks cool. Okay. Yeah, Tom, tomorrow I'm going to spend most of the day on here building the custom pirate station. I promise to go with the new pirates. Nice. 
Yeah, I gotta come up with a better turret than the one I have for the pirates so far. It's too weak and not enough, not enough shields for my liking, even for a light turret. Oh, since there don't seem to be any more teleports needed, I'm gonna clock out for the night. I shall see you all tomorrow. See ya!